So, uh, Paul Reynolds, ex of Nottingham Forest. To a full goal scoring, Paul Heckingbottom. Talk us through it. Free kick, yeah, I've just been saying it, it suited a left foot to the. The wall was lined up well, but with the wind coming in from the left as well, it was easy enough for me to sort of pass it in really around the wall. Now, in games when Mansfield, or a game when Mansfield went to 10 men, the one against uh, Stevenage when they were leading by two goals to nil, it then all fell apart. This looked a very different thing. And for those that might well say the experience of one Paul Heckenbottom coming into this side after injury is telling. Would they be right? I don't know. I have to ask other people about that. I no, know. I'm asking you. No, it's it's about we we spoke when I did the commentary, Tony. That you know it, your mentality can change when you go down to ten men. It's knowing how to play it. Sometimes we were one up, but we, we didn't have to commit men for. We just had to stay strong and solid. And then on the break, we had other chances. We scored as goal from the free kick, but we had other chances besides. Now, how good is this side <coughs> developing, and how much better is it getting almost game by game now? Um, I think it's more a belief and like knowing that we can do it. We've come in, and that's a perfect away performance for me. That's how to win away from home. We were strong. They were limited. Andy Murray, uh, Adam, Alan Murray didn't have many saves to make. They just had the one shot at the end where he shot across goal, and the lads put it over from. He probably should have scored, but it came to him quickly. He was just trying to react. But apart from that, they had absolutely nothing. So that's credit to everyone on the pitch. It was easier for the lads to defend today than, than last week because we had pressure on the ball higher up, so they couldn't get any quality into their into their front men. The way they set up, they had a spare man just playing off the front two, and they couldn't get the ball to his feet because we were putting good pressure on them all over the pitch. Now, as far as uh, cards are concerned, and eventually the red one for Matt Sumner, as a fullback, you've seen the odd yellow yourself. Judge those two, be fair as you possibly can. Did he deserve either yellow, and therefore, obviously, if he deserved either one or both, he deserved the red? We, the, the first one, I didn't see. I just, just looked like they've come together and the referee called it back to book him, so I didn't see that. The second one, it's a fantastic tackle, it's a great tackle. You saw another eight or nine of those during the game, they're fantastic tackles. If, would you have been proud of that? Yeah, I think everyone on the pitch would have. That's how he tackled. You, you, you slide in, he didn't leave the floor, he slid in. The, the referee said to me, he sent him off because his studs were showing. How else did he meant to tackle? You can't turn your foot round the other way. You've got to go in and, and tackle how, how you are. And it was a fantastic tackle. Uh, and actually, when he got sent off, their leg came up and said, You're unlucky because the first one went to booking. So there you go. And he said that he's been very harshly dealt with. Now, as far as you're <coughs> concerned, you came back from injury. Words like cotton wool, and I've watched you, the loneliness of the long distance trainer training a little bit by yourself. How are you feeling about it all now? Yeah, good. Uh, from the first game, I've just wanted to get straight back into it. It was for his screen, weren't it, at home? So it's just been great. It, it was a year, weren't it? 12 months to the day since I'd played. Um, it's just going really well. I know, like I said, I know I'm not going to be pain free for a long time. That's just the nature of the injury that I've got against Walsall. But um, in terms of kind of managing the games and the training, yeah, I'm training every day, playing every game. So long mate, continue. You did say, and you said it live on air, Paul, so I'll refer you to it, that there were times in the, the last 12 months, a bit longer than 12 months now, when you've been reduced to tears, the, the pressure of not really knowing when you'd be able to get back. Is that becoming more of a distant memory now? Yeah, it's gone. So <clears throat> that was like with the, uh, the tendonitis injury, which I had at Bradford, when you know, you're not getting any answers, you don't know how to deal with it. Owen Argrees has gone through a similar sort of thing, anti Man United, and I think he's due his comeback now after 14 months, so the nature of the injury, there's, there's not many answers, there's not many people know exactly how to treat that injury, so you're going to have times with an injury like that to just despair. Uh, the injury I picked against Walsall <coughs> was a, a different, a separate injury. Fair enough, I think it was related because of the weakness I had in that area, but it was a different injury and I knew it was just a matter of time before I came back from that, I, how frustrating it was, you know, I knew it, it wouldn't be long before I got back. You got up very early this morning, didn't you? Yeah, I was up, yeah, I'm used to it though with the kids now, so it's not a problem. Yeah, I'm getting up early then coming to, to Mansfield and it's a long journey back and you're going to get home fairly late tonight. When you put on the head, your head down on that pillow, what do you say to yourself? Good day? Oh, I'll, I'll sleep like a baby, yeah, I'll be, I'll be ready for it when I get back. I'm not sure what you meant then, but never mind. <laughs> Lovely goal, well done Paul Higginbottom and uh, we'll be speaking to you again very soon. Just last word on Forest Green, looking forward to that one? <clears throat> yeah, I am, yeah. Uh, my short time back, the third time we've played them, so it's, uh, you know, I think we know each other pretty well and to be honest, I'm surprised they're in the bottom three. Both times we've played them, I've been really impressed with them, so it's going to be a tough game. Will you be exchanging Christmas cards with Forest Green? No, 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 there's only a couple of lads I know down there and I'd rather knock them out than I might give them a Christmas card if they knock them out, you never know. Yeah, it's a fantastic <laughs> away performance. Uh, very strong, very organised. 
limited them to maybe one chance right at the death and, and we had several, we, we created a few first half, a few when we had 11 men second half and then three or four when we were on the break for the last 20 minutes or so. so. All round, it's a, a fantastic performance and one that should give us a lot of belief going forward. How tough was it out there with the pitch and the wind and the, the general conditions? Yeah, it's the same for both teams, as they say, though, isn't it? But early on, uh, it was windy, the pitch still had a few puddles on it, but I think the wind helped dry it out and the, the second half, I don't think it played too much of a, of a part in the game. It seemed that you went out, the way the team was set up today, you went out to try and really play a good standard of football with the wide men and, and you really got everyone involved. Yeah, we played with a bit more width today. We've, we've been playing 4-3-3 away from home. Uh, we sort of played that today with a, a little variation in it. We had wide men hugging the touchline. It gave us a bit more space to play and, and pass the ball, and I think it worked really well. So um, it could be something that you know we look to do again at some point. Talk, talk us through your goal, because um, there was Ryan Williams there, and uh, seemed that you wanted it. Yeah, they, they've had a few goals in the past, haven't they? But I think you know, just as I walked up, it was set up perfect for a left foot today. The wall was lined up fine, but with the wind coming in off the left as well, you, you could sort of use that to, to get the ball around the wall. And it, it just ended up being a pass. I didn't have to try and do anything clever with it, getting it over the wall or anything. I could use the wind to get it around the wall. So was it that the wall wasn't particularly well lined up, or was it that Roberto Carlos amount of sort of spin you put on it to get that? Around? I'd like to say Roberto Carlos, but as I said, I think it was the wind that helped me a lot more than that. But it, it came at a perfect time for you, didn't it? Because yeah. you're up down to 10 minutes at that stage and we were thinking, God, it could be a really difficult mm. last 15 for you. It could, yeah, it was difficult in terms of, I think they played it really well, they kept the ball moving and looked for little gaps, but credit to all our lads, the back four stayed tight and, and, and narrow and didn't get pulled about and we used the legs of the midfield and, and the front men to, to do our job basically and I thought they were fantastic, but... Yeah, the goal did come at a good time. As I said, we, we had a couple more chances on the break and we could have got Jake, that looked to be a really good team performance. Yeah, it was a strong performance um, and I think we've all enjoyed it. We got the ball down and played football. Now you moved out to the right wing and in that first half especially had a, had a real effect on the game. Give us your views of your performance. Yeah, um, early doors we got it down. Me, me and uh, Blair Sturrock had a good few combinations in the first half. I think it put them on the back foot. Uh, Pezzer as well. I uh, had a lot of the ball in the first half. Uh, like I said, I got my goal as well so it, it stood us in good stead for the rest of the game. Couldn't miss the goal, could you? No, no, it just dropped in the six yard box. I pounced on it playing in the back of the net. And their full back got booked early on as well, it seemed you were putting real pressure on him there. Yeah, I think he, he got booked just after or just before the goal and I think he were on eggshells then for the rest of the game. Yeah. How do you enjoy it out wide as opposed to through the middle? Um, I don't, at the start of the season I, I did prefer to play up front but as I've played more and more on the right, wide I've started to enjoy it, especially when we're getting it down like that and playing football. Yeah, That's the, That was the key thing today wasn't it, it was a real football Yeah, football. yeah, I think um, especially before Sam uh, got sent off, they didn't, they didn't have a look in um, we, we, like, so we got it down, we played football and we looked really strong. And how important was Blair Starrett to that as well? Because you seem to link up with him well. Yeah, I think Blair's the type of player, he, he gets us all playing, he, he, gets, he gets it into feet and slides people in and, and plays the one-twos. Um, give us your view of Paul Heggingbottom's free kick because you were still on the pitch at that stage and were involved in the move that led to it. Yeah, uh, I think we, it were broke. Willow, uh, Willow got fouled, I think they were Pezzer and uh, Ecke stood over it. Um, I can up taking it. I think it just bent it around the wall in the bottom corner. Great goal. Good resilience, did you think, from the side when you were down to 10 minutes at that stage? Yeah, I think we, sh we, sh we showed, uh, like earlier in the season, when with, um, the, the, uh, Peza got sent off early, early doors against Stevenage, but I think today when we went down to 10 men, we looked solid. Uh, two, two banks of four and Peza up front. I thought we all did brilliant when he got sent off. Why have you managed to turn around this away form? Because earlier in the season you might have, might have crumbled in this situation, but the away form seems to have really turned around. Yeah, I think we may, may have had a blip earlier on in the season, but we, we, we're all confident we could, we could get to grips with the away form and put it right, which we, we've shown the last three or four games. How important to you personally is a, a good run in the FA Cup now with, with Forest Green coming up on Tuesday? Yeah, I think like we, we, we know can beat Forest Green, we showed it at home and I think last week we've all, we'll all admit we didn't, we didn't really turn up. Um, we got the draw, we stuck at it and this Tuesday everyone's looking forward to it and I'm sure we'll get a win at home. And especially with someone like Bath in the second round, it's all set up for you isn't it? Yeah, it is. it's all set up for us to go and have a good run. I think if we get Tuesday out of the way we, we, we fancy ourselves down at Bath to, to go and get another win. Well played today. Thank, Thank you. you very much.